Welcome to the ACT Premium Cloud video series. In this video, we'll explore activities and how they interact with contacts. One basic type of activity in ACT is a meeting. Let's schedule a meeting with one of our contacts. To do so, we'll go to the detail view of a contact record. Then what we'll do is we'll click the meeting button in the global toolbar. You could also use the schedule menu button to perform this same action. The activity type is going to be a meeting. We'll choose a start date sometime next week, Wednesday. And the start time I want to make it at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. This meeting is going to last one hour. I'm going to check the use banner box. This will give you an alert on your calendar. And we'll see what this looks like shortly. You can schedule this meeting with other contacts from your database as well. If we use the contacts button, we can select contacts from our database to schedule this meeting with. This will create an activity record for each contact that we choose. The regarding field should indicate the subject or the reason for which we are meeting. Next we can choose a priority, a color, and a ring alarm if we want for this meeting. The Schedule 4 box allows you to schedule activities on behalf of other users. This is especially useful for managers who need to set schedules for their team. At the top of the window, we can click the Details tab to enter formatable meeting details for each of our invitees. You can also attach a file to this screen using the Attach button. This is useful if there are any documents that need to be shared with others before the meeting. At the top also is the Recurrence tab, and this allows you to create any recurrence patterns for this meeting. For example, if this is a weekly team meeting on Fridays, you could set it up here to schedule automatically until any end date that you choose. We'll click OK to create this meeting activity. Your new activity will now appear in the Activity tab for each of the contacts and ACT users you invited. To clear an activity, check the box on the Activity tab for this meeting. ACT will launch the Clear Activity screen. For results, decide whether you want to clear this meeting or delete it. If you want to clear it, there's a drop-down box that tells you whether the meeting was held or not held. You can also add any notes on this screen if you want, and these will be saved as part of the history record for this activity. Should this activity require some sort of follow-up action or activity, like another meeting or action items, click the Follow-up button to schedule those subsequent activities. When you're all finished, click the OK button. ACT has now moved this activity to the History tab for each of the contacts who were associated with it. Let's look at the calendar to see what an activity looks like from the calendar view. I'm going to create a call on today's date for tonight at 7 o'clock. This call is going to be about 15 minutes long. And I'll leave everything else the way it is. Click OK. Now if I click the calendar link in left navigation, for today's date, I should be able to scroll down to 7 o'clock to see that this activity has been scheduled on my daily calendar. I can click it to view its details in the activity window. Now let's look at this activity from the task list. The task list in ACT shows you all of your incomplete activities. You can use the filters at the top to display the activities based on a date range, or activity types, or priority, or users, or whether these activities are public, private, or cleared. Experiment with these filters to get all the information that you want. This concludes the video on getting started with activities. In the next video, we'll look at customization in ACT.